tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, thank you very much to the Minister um, for her words and her introduction to this today. Um, I'm Claire Ward and I'm the Chief Executive of SUPRU, which is the Social Policy Evaluation and Research Unit. And on behalf of SUPRU, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to this conference today. As the Minister has said, we've got a, a wide range of speakers here, both from overseas and um, from New Zealand, and I thank them all for giving up their time to share their knowledge and insights with us today. Um, I'd also like to thank Donovan Clark for, for his role as MC today, and I think I've just cut him out of his bit, by, <laughs> uh, but never mind. Um, and before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge the Minister's comments around social investment. Um, and as the Minister said, the use of evidence in decision-making is a fundamental part of social investment. And as she said, it's about all of us involved in it, whether we're making policy, whether we're making funding decisions, or whether we're delivering services. It's about using evidence that's appropriate in our role. So as such, I'd like to take a little bit of time to introduce the work we're doing to support the social sector to use evidence for impact. Um, as the Minister said, we have a key role in supporting the sector to use evidence in decision, make, in decision making, and we do believe that, you know, we know that not all decisions are ever just based on evidence, there's other things that take into account. But if you do use evidence, our belief is that the, the decisions are likely to be better ones um, and make a difference for families and whānau. And I think families, whānau and individual have to be at the centre of everything we do and everything we think about. So most people know that evidence is important and a government is driving uh, the use of evidence to inform decision making through social investment and other activities. However, from our conversations with a range of stakeholders in the social sector, we know that when it comes to actually using evidence, how you do that can be a bit of a challenge and where you might need to do that as well. So it's not about people thinking that they want to use evidence. Most people, I think, do want to do that, but it's how you do that that becomes um, a bit challenging. So at SUPRU, we want to focus on decision makers. Um, and as I said, they can be making different sorts of decisions, um, but helping and supporting decision makers to use evidence in their roles. And we've taken an approach um, that we've actually wor working on user journeys. So instead of us saying, this is what you need to do when you need to do it and how you do it, what we're saying is we've been talking to um, people in the sector about um, how they, what they do and where and how they want to use evidence so that we at SUPRU can provide products and services that help you do what you do. And we started off, um, yeah, so once we understand those journeys that you are going through, we, we can then make sure that what we do helps. <coughs> Excuse me. And we started off by looking at the, the journey of a funder in the social sector and produced an evidence map with the funders about what they do and how they do it. Uh, you can see a couple of on the walls here and outside, so I encourage you to have a look at that um, you know, during the coffee breaks. Um, so, and what we, intend, we also intend to do a similar work with people who, with policy analysts and also with service providers so that we have complementary maps for how different people use evidence and then we can make sure that what we do is meaningful and useful. Um, so I'm just going to briefly today talk about the work that we have been doing with funders. And this slide just really shows that um, what I was just talking about, that we'll be looking at the other groups as well. So in, in, in doing this work, we have... Um, actually, we didn't sit in Wellington deciding what people do. We've had workshops with funders both in the, go the government sector and the non-government sector and asked them what they do and the sort of decisions they need to make and what sort of evidence they need for that, and we put together these evidence use maps. Um, and that, so, yeah, and one of the things we found from that, that in the funder sector, not everybody's the same, obviously, and that people are working, some people are looking at individual funding applications or funding, other people are looking at an organisational level, and other people, um, in particular the government, are looking at whole portfolios and system level investment. But what we did find in talking to funders was that almost all of them, irrespective of what level they're working at, um, uh, have, are thinking about um, planning an investment, sourcing the investment, and then managing that investment. So a bit of a procurement life cycle. Um, and that the, 
And what we've done here is we've translated those into um, the types of evidence people are using. So they're using evidence as intelligence early on in the system. They're then using evidence for assessment and then to demonstrate impact. And I think it's really important that when we think about evidence and evaluation that we're thinking from the start to the end. Quite often people think at the end, but actually you need to build it in from the start. And I suspect that everybody in this room already knows that. In terms of evidence for intelligence, um, this involves understanding what works for whom and under what circumstances. As the minister said, understanding the why is really important. Um, oh, so <laughs> I'm getting run over by my slides here. Um, evidence for assessment. This involves asking questions about, have I got um, an evidence-informed proposal or set of pro proposals in front of me? Um, and do we, and the service provider, have the information, the capability and capacity to collect the evidence we need? Do we know what that evidence is? Have we thought about that? It's really important. Um, and finally, around evidence for impact, this really involves demonstrating impact, which is we talk about that a lot, and I think it is really important, but actually we need to be able to understand um, the what and the why and the how as well. But demonstrating Im impact, how can we demonstrate impact? What can we learn? What can we share? And what do we need to change as a result? So those are the sort of questions funders, whether they're working on individually, organisationally, or at system level, are trying to ask. Answer, I should say. And at Supra, we offer a range of products and services that help with that. Um, and, you know, because we, we believe that we need to work around this cycle if we're going to make a difference for those families and whānau. So just briefly, um, we, at the evidence is intelligence phase, we have a series, we do some research, um, we maybe commission it directly for ministers or we work for other people as well, but we have a series of what works briefs and in focus publications that start to bring together information about particular topics in the social sector that may be of interest, or should be of interest um, to people making decisions. At the evidence for assessment phase, we've just developed a range of evaluation planning tools which are available out in the foyer and I encourage you to pick them up, focused on different groups. So we've got some around evaluation planning for um, funding applicants. Um, um, if you're a funder, a set of guidelines to help you look at the, is this application in front of me evidence informed? A set of questions you might like to ask. Um, and some pra good practice um, planning around evaluation as well. And finally, in the evidence for, um, to demonstrate impact, here, those tools obviously are helpful in here as well, but at Supra we do commission evaluations on large cross-scale, cross-sector um, activities like the youth mental health evaluation, um, and we support people to do evaluation as well. And we do have other work that goes across everything, so you may have seen our hub, which, um, which is a portal into government-funded research. So if you're looking for something, you should be able to find it there. And we've got other things that, you know, sometimes, you know, you read a piece of evidence and you think, is this any good or not? Um, so we've got some guidelines to help people critically appraise the evidence that they're looking at. So what we're trying to do is build a set of tools and good practice that you can use to help you use evidence in your decision-making. And you can find all these, these pieces that I'm talking about on our website. You can get to the hub from there and also the good practice tools. So um, I encourage you to have a look in there. And also we're also always open to feedback um, because obviously what we're trying to do is help you and we can do, only do that by talking to you about what you need. So kia ora tato. Thank you.